Northbound 95, you got it on? Come on. And what it look like behind it? so-called outdated technology of the CB radio is still able to provide assistance and information similar to GPS and Google Maps and other modern technology devices. So a CB radio can still be helpful. sunny Sunday afternoon and very windy out here by the beach and we're gonna be talking about riding the go away and coming up on accidents or even possibly being involved in an accident that's just on not just on a go wing but on any motorcycle you ride well as you can see Red Scorpion is still here not been in an accident with her we got 72 degrees, expecting it to get, become very cold over the weekend. Matter of fact, overnight tonight, they said we're supposed to have down into the 30 degree range tomorrow, lower 40s. So let's get out here and talk about accidents, what to do when you come upon them, and how not to be involved with them. See you in a few. Hey, you got southbound. Hey, uh, 95 shut down down there, about 97 yards, ticker going south. You say about a 37? Uh, 97. Oh, time for I appreciate it. I just got on up there at 129, looking good out to there. Hey, uh, I got a southbound big truck on fire down there, sir. Hey, nobody getting by. Uh, time for I appreciate it. Stay tuned for an example of how modern technology pairs with a CB radio to provide information. figure he got over there. Now we see here the Florida Turnpike System uses CB Channel 19 to transmit accident information. Are there any roadways in your area that do this similar kind of broadcasting on Channel 19 on the CB radio? It helps keep truckers and other travelers who use the CB radio informed as to what's going on. Coming down southbound, it's an accident down here, cars overturned. You're in the middle lane, get out of the middle lane and get in the far right lane. Oh, what's the 20 on an accident? Look 
Carlisle about a 117 yard sticker, I believe. Okay, thank you. I'm going by right now, northbound. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, four wheeler got the greasy side up. Southbound is just past the 119 yard sticker, about the 118 and a half. Oh, YouTube, you just never know. What's gonna happen when you're going down the road? Uh, traffic's all backed up. Nobody gonna get to where they're going at the time they expected to. Well, Y'all be careful out there. Ghost Rider on the accident scene, 95th Street, South Central Florida. And we're 10 7. Uh, hello, YouTube. You know, just before we came out here today, we came across a posting by the Chester County Sheriff's Office, South Carolina. I'm not going to share the picture with you because uh, it's kind of graphic. But they posted a picture of a car halfway under the rear of a school bus. The caption stated that there were no tire marks, no skid marks before the collision and the driver, a young female, 17 years old, was actually interacting or using her uh, mobile device, her telephone, her cell phone. And how they know that? Because the cell phone was still in her hand, in her hand uh, open up to a text. And they said, is it worth it? Absolutely isn't. But before I even saw that post today, you know, all along in my daily travels, roundabout on Red Scorpion, I've come across different accident scenes. I heard about different accident scenes that I was alerted to where in just in time that I could detour and not be tied up so how do you how do we as motorcyclists avoid being a statistic in an accident scene another thing I considered was with that school bus uh, accident that photograph what if you were on your motorcycle sitting behind that bus and some motorist came up behind you on their cell phone not paying attention and what that picture would be captioned was that in addition to the car that went under the bus there's a motorcycle and a rider crammed in onto there from somebody who was not paying attention now I, lo I know I like to talk about all the lights I put on my goal wing to keep me visible. But how can you be visible to someone who's not even paying attention? And furthermore, when you hear about all these uh, other accidents law enforcement are involved in, big bright blue and red lights flashing on the side of the road, day or night, drunk or inattentive drivers slam into their patrol units. Fortunately, uh, a number of them are able to escape. Some are not. Some do get injured. The highways can be such a dangerous place to be. You know, everybody's out here at the beach relaxing. Pretty soon they'll get in their cars and many of them might even be heading out there to those dangerous highways. And it's not just on the highways the byways as well these back roads 
just riding through a parking lot here. People finish their enjoyable time at the beach, get in their cars, and want them to start to back out without looking. And if I'm not paying attention, constantly scanning for like reverse lights on a car right there, we gotta watch out for one another. Be alert to any signals anyone else might give of their intentions while traveling down the road. I'm going to share with you uh, about two or three scenes, I think, if I remember correctly, that I came across or was alerted to. And just be mindful. Be careful. Be alert. Look out for those inattentive or distracted or even drunk drivers. And no drunk drivers just aren't out at, during the nighttime. Even though majority of the higher percentage of those accidents involving drunk drivers happen in the wee hours of the morning or late night, late night hours. So let's just be careful as we go around. It's a ghost rider here riding out in the warmth of Southern Florida. And we'll see y'all next time. Be careful. Thanks for watching. Ghost Rider. Red Scorpion. With a safety call. And we're 10-7. Ah, you too. And that wind blowing from the west. Across the intercoastal waterway here. Blowing out to the Atlantic Ocean to the right. 70 degrees right now. Gotta be leaning into this wind. Not quite sure what the wind speed is. Feels like about maybe 50 mile an hour winds or 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts. Tomorrow morning, we should, around here, should be down in the mid to lower 40s. Well, it's only going to last for a day. <laughs> South Central Florida weather for you. Cold fronts march in. Warmth of Southern Florida, Florida kicks it back out. Oh, and they're knocking a helmet around here. Alright YouTube, just want to give you a taste of what it's like riding during the onslaught entrance of a cold front. We'll see you next time.